Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well today. I just finished filming my fall vampy lip look. And if you guys want to know how I got this look, then stay tuned. So I'm starting off with my Lorac Pro Palette. I'm taking in the color Taupe and I'm placing this right above my crease for that nice transition color. I love this transition color. It just blends everything so beautifully together. Then I'm taking the color cream, and I love, love this matte shade. I'm placing this right underneath my brows for that nice highlight color. Then taking the color pewter, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm concentrating this color all on my eyelid. And then I'll be repeating it on the other side. This color has to be one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's just super gorge. Then taking the color Sable with my MAC 217 brush, I am creating this outer V because I love my eyeshadow to kind of give that cat eye effect. And I'm just working it in there and just blending as I go. Super important to blend. And then I'm going to speed it up right here because it takes a minute and then I'll be repeating on the other side. And all the brushes will be linked down below, so don't worry. Next I'm taking Espresso and as you can see here I'm doing like padding motions almost. Just because darker colors for me, it can be extra harsh, you know, so you want to just Take your time and work it in there till you're satisfied. Then repeating on the other side. And don't worry if it looks a little harsh, girl. We are going to blend right here, actually. I'm taking a fluffy tapered brush by Sigma and I'm just blending everything away so that there's no harsh edges and there's nothing on the brush. Next I'll be taking my Maybelline liner. I love this liner. It's one of my favorite liquid liners. Super easy to work with for me. And I love my wings. Then adding some mascara, even though I don't have much, but hey. Then I'm taking the color taupe again and just patting it where I may have blended a little too much and I want that definition back, but not too harsh. So I'm just swiping it and bringing it in towards the middle of my eyelid. And just blend away. Next, I'm taking this eyelash glue that my sister got me. I love this eyelash glue. I'll list it down below. It dries so quick and it just sticks really, really fast. I love it. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl concealer and I'm placing this underneath my eyes. I'm also pairing it up with my Physicians Formula Concealer. I know it may seem like a lot, but I love this highlight look. Now I'm blending everything out with my Beauty Blender. I love this Beauty Blender. It blends so flawlessly. Now I'm taking my fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending everything again. Again, everything all together. Next, I'll be taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I am setting my concealer so that nothing budges. My T-Zone gets so oily sometimes, but I love my Laura Geller Pressed Powder. I'm applying this all over my T-Zone and it helps my oily skin. Now I'm taking my MAC Give Me Sun and I'm placing this all on my cheeks, my contouring, and my forehead. I love to contour, it's just an amazing thing. It just slims down my chunky cheeks and I place it on my forehead, my temples, and my jawline. Really simple. 
Next, I'm taking this blush by MAC. I forgot what it was called, but I'll list it down below. And I'm placing this on my cheeks and I am bringing it back towards where my contour is. Next, I'll be taking my <laughs> Luminizer by The Balm and I'm placing this right above my cheeks for that gorgeous highlight. Now taking the color Light Bronze, I am placing this in my inner third for that nice, bright, shimmery look right there. I totally forgot to line my waterline before I did the light bronze color right there, but this is Rimmel and it's in Nude. Taking the color Sable, I am placing this on my outer eyes, 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 <laughs> and I'm just placing it there for that nice, soft, smoky look. Now I'm just blending everything together. Lastly, I'm going to place a little bit of mascara underneath. Again, I don't have much, but it definitely completes the look. Next, I'm just curling my lashes with my real ones because I do not want any just hanging out, girl. Now I'm just priming my lips with my MAC Prep and Prime and I'm placing my liner placing. I'm putting my lip liner on and this is by Jordana. If you have not tried any of Jordana products, you need to go to your closest Walgreens and grab it. I love this stuff. It's so cheap. I really love their lip balms. Next, I'm taking Max Rebel, and I love this lipstick. It's my go-to fall lippy, and as you can see, I'm working it in. It's definitely buildable, so you can build it to your likings. Then, I'm taking my lip gloss from my Ipsy bag, and I'm placing it all over my lips. I love this color because it's kind of a red tint, so it's nothing too powerful, but I love the combo. Lastly, I'm taking my Fix Plus by MAC, and I'm just setting my face and letting it dry. And this is my completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Happy October! Bye!